In its fifth year, the Goa Arts Lit Fest has become an important event on the city's annual calendar. It has grown in stature and attracts both Indian and foreign writers. Between the book launches, panel discussions and intellectual musing, we wondered, were writers here for the company, for the ego boost or to drum up book sales? And what about the readers? Were Goa's book lovers marching right in? We come because, you know, they're fun and um, it's nice to get invited and, and, you know, it's nice to talk about your work and listen to other people talk about their work. But, um, you know, you do also get a sense that you're, you're almost just talking to each other, you know. <laughs> uh, you're not sure if you're actually reaching a more wider audience, if you're just sort of, uh, sort of preaching to the converted, really. Festivals of literature are actually extremely important and even more important today because even while you have this suggestion that people are not reading anymore and the book is dying and you know, we've heard all this nonsense many, many times. The fact is that more and more people are coming to the act of reading. I mean, they may read a diverse range of things, but we have many more readers than before. So the direct encounter between reader and writer that becomes possible at a literature festival is, is very important. So the more literature festivals we have, the merrier. And I also think that um, they are not all the same. I mean, I know that the Jaipur model is, is an important and influential one, but there are festivals across this country which are doing very different things. The Goa Arts and Literary Festival is a little bit different from other festivals in India because it's run by a group of writers called the Goa Writers, of which I'm a member, and Damodar Mauzo, the eminent Konkani writer who's my co-curator, is also a member. And our festival isn't really based around what is the bestseller list or what publishers are pushing at us. It's more based on the books that the writers uh, of, of our group um, really feel passionate about. And it's also been about building bridges and creating a kind of a consensus of the margins. With almost every city in India having at least one, if not more such festivals, you would think reading was India's most popular pastime. But though the numbers that make a bestseller have gone up, so say about 10,000 for a work of non-fiction and up to 30,000 for a book of fiction, the universe is still very small. And if literary festivals around the world were really able to push the reading habit so far, how is it that data after data tells us that less and less people are actually reading, especially things like literary fiction, right? Why is that true? Because literary fiction is one genre that is constantly celebrated in festivals. So if, if it is so celebrated and if, if festivals are so successful, how is it that less and less people are reading it? How is it that younger and younger people are, are moving away from that genre, right? So these are questions to ask. I don't agree to too many literary festivals and in fact I've been quite uh, selective about them for a while now because I think personally there's a kind of cultural fatigue that's set in. But I do agree to some if I feel a sense of curiosity either about the festival or about the place that I'm visiting. In the case of Goa it's been a combination of both because Goa as a place is always one that I'm happy to revisit. But also a certain curiosity about the festival and the way it's turned out for me so far. It seems like a place of that's warm, that's informal. Um, I haven't got a whiff of what I often get at literary festivals, which is a certain climate of acquisitiveness where you feel everyone's looking at each other just to see um, what can be extracted of, out of, you know, from them. Whether it's, um, are you an agent? Are you a publisher? How, of what use can you be to me? Uh, that kind of ethos can be a bit wearing, but this hasn't been that way. Uh, and I think, I hope it retains this um, somewhat makeshift quality, which to my mind right now is kind of endearing. I like it this way. So even if there's no direct impact on readership, writers enjoy being at these lit fests. And if writers are a happy lot, we'll get enough food for thought.